Cool. Um, so, so tell us your scenario. Yeah, for this what's date. the scenario? How are you gonna pick them up? Because you said it's easy, so you gotta. Pick well, a scenario. for the guys in Miami, for sure. They just. No, to... Okay, so how are you gonna do it in the club? In the club. Cool. Name the club. What club do you want this? Club week? location time. Live. Okay. Live on a Saturday night day. Sunday, probably like two. It's popping on Sundays. Just okay. For live. So it's packed. Cool. Yeah. All right. So I got the two mics over there. So you can take the headphones off. Stand up. I want you. To approach him as a girl. And let's be honest here. Yeah, uh, ugly as fuck. Girls are never by themselves at the club. So, Chris, go ahead and jump in, too. I'm going to be the producer on this one. Uh, so, we're going to see how this goes. Going live. At live. Oh, my God. Let's party, girl. You're weird. I'm sorry. I'm no fun, I know. You look so awesome. I just Thank can't you. with the yeah. braids. And... <laughs> All right. Uh, y'all got the mics? Yo, they're on the floor right there. Take them. And then, all right. So um, I think it was Leilani, right? Or something like that? Yeah. All right. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go up to him. You're the guy. He's the girl. Uh, he's with his girlfriend. So I want to see how you're going to approach them at the club. Now, keep in mind, it's loud as fuck in there, all right? Yeah, and it's dark. So I want to see how you're going to approach them. Well, I remember, you're the guy. I'm the girl. We're the girls. Zoom in. For now. Yeah. Okay. So let's know when you're ready. And keep the mic close to your mouth, by the way, so that everybody can oh, hear you. Man, nigga. What, what are we doing? I want to go next. <laughs> It's fun, right? Go ahead, fresh. All right, go ahead, fresh. Okay. All right, go up to him. For one, I think that we would like already know each other. No, you don't. But that's, I don't think anyone goes out without knowing, like, inviting girls out Wait, to their you table. Said it was easy. It is. You invite tons of girls. Every guy invites tons of girls to their table. So we would already know each other. All right, other. let's see how you're okay, going to do it. You then. Know what? Go ahead. The, so it's so easy. Run with it. Go ahead. How would you do it? But I feel like it involves a lot of dancing and like drinks. Yeah, I don't want to get up on that. <laughs> yeah, girl, we live, we live right now. Twerking, I'm twerking. Yeah, oh, my oh my god! 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 All right, make the approach. Come on. How are you going to do this? Make the approach. I'd probably go up and, like, ask about their drink. Like, do you guys need Duck more face. drinks? Look, 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 look. Go up to them. Actually do it. As it's you live. Yeah, close, by yeah but I'm, I'm a girl. Like, I'm it's not doing live. this to people. No, live, 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 live. No, 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 no. You said it was easy. Yo, you said it was live. easy. Yeah, yeah, live, 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 live. Let's see how you would do it. So, go go so, so now you're captain? Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm, like, if you're in the situation. Ready? One, two, three. Scene. <laughs> All right, how would you make the approach? Come on. I would go up to them and like. Don't tell us, just do it. Oh my god! <laughs> just do it live. He just touched me, babe. He just touched oh, me. What? I, that's assault. <laughs> wait, wait. Who is he? Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Girl, 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 relax. Defend yourself. Say something. Girl, relax. All right, look. Hold on. Yo, yo. Everybody stop what the fuck you're doing. This is very simple, okay? You're going to go up to him. You're going to pretend you're the fucking guy. I yeah. want to see how you would do it. Can somebody else do it? No, no, no. no. Oh, my yeah, God. God. I know. It's easy, it's easy, so easy. easy but so, like... So I want to see how you would do it. Go about it. Pretend you're a guy. And just role play in yeah. the scenario. If you fail, you fail. But we just want to see how you would do it. What? All right? Since you think it's easy. You're the guy. So you stand over there. Fail. They're going to be dancing on the corner or whatever, talking. I want to see how you would approach them and talk to them as a guy. All right? Simple. Ready? Who's up next, by the way? Who Mo. wanted to go next? Can you? I think it was. I just want She said it was easy. And yeah. she wants to go. I don't think it's easy, it was, yeah. but I just want to see something. Okay, cool. She said it was hard. She admitted it was hard. She thought it was easy, and she thought it was easy. Yeah. So now go ahead. You're in roll. How would you walk up? Are they going to do it, too? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so but you, you but you're first. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right. Do it. Ready? Go ahead. Like the move. Yeah, I would just walk and be like, no, no, no. You don't say it, just do it. How do guys approach you? 
I act know. like how guys approach you. Yeah, just like the slap. But ass. like we know just everyone copy that whatever they with. told you. <laughs> Hey, you know what? But how would you get her to have wait, sex wait, wait, with wait, you? Wait, 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 pause. That's, that's what... Yeah, it's oh, usually like... Ready? I ready? know that. Ready? ready? Yeah, so how you gonna get the... Go on, go for it. Hey, girl. Hey, she, he looks hot. He has some money. You just go and approach him. Approach him, girl. Go ahead. Chris, what the fuck are you doing? Chris. <laughs> he is... No, she's just making her go to you. Okay. Doesn't Yo, care. she, like, she's not getting it because she's kind of, you know... Uh, Spectrum, like you know, like like, <laughs> what? like you know, like just role play. Yo, she lost, bro. She lost, bro. She play, what? Like she don't know what to do. I'll take the L. Do what, bro? She don't know what to do, bro. No, I don't. No, no. You approach him like you do. No, she doesn't know what to do. Okay, yeah, that's the guy. You hold on, hold on. No, no. Do you not understand the purpose of this? No, I fully do, but I'm just like I don't know how I would do it. Like I just. So then clearly it's not easy. I don't. I don't want to ask it out. So then clearly it's not easy then. Correct. I don't think that I think it's easy for guys in Miami. Then show us I how watch you do it, it all day long. Can Give us an example. We just want to see an example. No, see she's scared to do the example. example. She doesn't want to do yeah, it alone. She's scared. That's why I try to show her. And shy. Because I used to be a teacher. So then clearly it's not easy. No, of course. I didn't say it's easy. It's like an example of how a guy approached you before. Like the fact that he didn't know you and he just came up to you, just approached them the same exact way. It's super simple. Yeah, you're complicating this. Yeah, and way. Like you're much. overthinking you're... it, just do it. So if you're saying it's easy, it should have worked with you, right? It. Pretty much live. I know yeah. Yo, there, there's man, I just yeah. give the mic to somebody else. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, no offense. Okay. To you. Okay. You're not the right. sharpest. Can I just shot? Okay, right, okay. Right, right, right. No, she she right, said right, yes. Right. I just wanted give to see somebody else. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, go ahead. That's I tried. A, Ten hours later. Dude, like, yeah. God damn, it's simple fucking exercise, ladies. Like, if it's hard, then admit it's hard, but, like, don't fucking be a retard. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like, it's simple. <laughs> Pretend to get a fucking girl. Holy shit. Okay. All right, all right, so. What sense is no longer common. All right, so what's our scene? Uh, are we in a club? Are we. What's the setting? Like, setting. It's, it's all up to you. Okay, we're at a club. Okay. Which club? Uh, we're at Sway. I mean, it's way where you would already have a girl in on Florida, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, cool. We're louder now. All right, go ahead. Oh man, this this club is fucking lit. The look at the ceilings like are fucking drink? amazing, you, and you know, the, the music is loud as drink? fuck. And you like me to whoa, whoa shh. Who was that? I don't know. Man. I'm offering you guys a drink. Oh, I'm we're at a table yeah, right now. Yeah. Oh, you guys are at a table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we make six um, figures. What? Excuse I make me. Six figures. Oh, you do? Yeah. What do you do for work? I'm a businessman. Oh, doing what though? Girl, we could finesse his ass. Wait, wait. But so, so, no. Okay, okay, okay. Like, is it like money, money, or is it like money, money? So, what are we talking? Like, what do you do for business? <laughs> like, I have my own podcast. Oh, I have my alpha male podcast. <laughs> oh, alpha male podcast. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Is it them niggas in Miami and Berkeley? Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. The, uh. The Fab and Fit? Fab and Fit? Fab and Fit? The Fab and Fit. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's We gotta finesse that nigga. No, 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 the misogynist. I know. Oh, okay. So what are you offering? I'm bringing you guys on the podcast. Gonna wow. give you a whole lot of clout. Oh, Chloe wow. got invited already for free. Yeah, free, yeah. yeah. Like, no, because it, 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 for free, girl, it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chloe got invited already for free. Yeah, free, yeah. No, because every girl's here, you know, it, it takes nothing for us to come on here. I guess this is it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to prove a point. I'm just trying to act because I thought it'd be funny. I mean, obviously, it's harder than that. That was you terrible. thought it was easy, though. Come on. That was terrible. I mean, I was just doing it for fun. Okay. I know it's harder than that, okay. obviously. Oh. I, I can't act it out because you guys aren't girls. Okay. I don't have six <laughs> hold figures. On, hold on. Out of ten, how do you think man, you yo. did? God fucking damn, I gotta do everything, man. Yo, give me the fucking mic, man. That was retarded. Give me the mic. I'm gonna actually act like a real girl. Like, you guys are actually way too fucking extra, man. I'll fuck up the shit. Here, go right here on Pakistan. No, Chris, just sit behind the scenes. Okay, okay. God damn. Here you go. So I'm gonna be a girl at a club. I want you to approach me as a as a man. I would like to change the scenario. Okay, what's the scenario? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> and for those that are wondering, Trader Joe's is a uh, grocery store of high, mid to higher tier. So I'm going to be a girl. I'm going to be getting some fucking tofu or some shit. I want you to approach me as a guy. Let's see how this happens. I'm going to act like a regular female. I'm going to give you typical female objections. Let's see how you handle it. Okay? So, okay. So I'm here looking at some shit. Oh, hey. How are you doing? Did you need help with oh, anything? Excuse me? Oh, oh hi. Do you need help with anything? Uh... No, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm just getting some groceries. 
Oh, okay. What are you getting? Uh, some tofu. Oh, do you live around here? This is really good. This is a really nice grocery store. Uh, haha, um, uh, I live somewhere around, yeah. Oh, okay. Would you mind going on a date with me? Uh, what's your name? Sure. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, I, would you say a date? Sure, yeah. Would you like to grab a coffee oh, or go on a I, date? I have a boyfriend. With... Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. But I can do better. I can be a better boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we've been together for a while. What does your boyfriend do? Uh, well, I don't really feel. Why are you like drifting that. away from me? Like I don't bite. Yeah, well, no. Come I, here, girl. I don't I, bite. I, like, I get, I get what's that, wrong? but I, I have a boyfriend. Okay, I mean, I get it. What does he do? Are you happy? Uh, you, uh I mean, uh, you're here like buying groceries <laughs> by yourself. I can pay for your groceries. Uh, no, it's okay. I don't think my boyfriend would like that. I mean, your boyfriend isn't even here. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> All right, Mart. Uh, you're making me a little uncomfortable. How? Little. <laughs> I told you I have a boyfriend, but you won't stop. I'm just telling you I could be a better boyfriend. Uh, I'm okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you see me next time, just know my name is Alex. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking trash. Bro, Mart. What the fuck, that bro? Me and Fred go to club all the time. Nah, bro. man. Yo, Trust okay, me, so know. number one, you came up, right? And you, and tra you, you like awkwardly came up behind me, right? Yeah. Then you didn't even introduce yourself. You didn't build any rapport whatsoever. You just asked me out on a date without even knowing well, my I name. I just asked uh, if you needed help, you know. That's kind of how guys have approached me. They're like, hey, like, do you yeah, need help? And how many of those guys have you fucked? None of them. Exactly. So, so like, it's, so the, you came up behind <laughs> me. That was weird. And then you immediately say, let's have a date without getting to know me whatsoever. You didn't even introduce yourself. You didn't say anything. You didn't build any type of attraction. So why would I go on a date with you? Uh, because I offered help. But, I, I mean, I agree with you. I never said that it was easy. I'm sure plenty of guys have offered you help. How many dates did you go on with them? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you try the tactics that don't work on you? I mean, usually, okay, if guys do offer help, I think, like, it's really nice. I would consider that, like, the chances of a guy... Even when they don't even say their name, don't introduce themselves, and you go on a date with them? I mean, I did introduce myself. I no, did you didn't? Say Not I was... until I asked you to. I just... I was just trying to break the ice. Like, I said, hey, like, do you need help? I just tried to role play what guys have done, like what has happened to me when I go out. Does that ever work? Not really. There you go. That's my point. The point of this exercise, ladies, is to show you guys that it's much harder to attract a woman than you guys think. You got one chick freezing, not knowing what to do. You got her saying, I make six figures at a club. What the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> and then you coming up behind me while I'm tofu shopping and saying, <laughs> I want to take you on a date without like at properly introducing you yourself, yeah. without building any type of attraction. So, I mean, do you guys still think it's easy to get a girl as a guy? Never no. thought it's easy. After this experiment? I didn't say it was easy. I said it was easy in Miami, but, like, yeah, I didn't say that it's, like, are. easy. You are in Miami. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, the reason I said that is because <laughs> I have seen, like, in clubs it was easier because, yes. like. So why don't you so pick what, the club scenario? Club? That's why I didn't pick the club scenario. Why don't you pick the club scenario? Um, yeah, yeah. Man, you since it's easier. You should be talking to Todd, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I would argue it's even harder in the club. Okay. Because you, it's loud, it's dark. The girls are there to just drinks. So it's hard to build rapport. You can't even talk to them. So it's yeah. even harder. You got to get a section and shit. I kind of picked the Trader Joe's scenario because it's not loud. But I And even I, with all that, you still fucked up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> not a man, so. Bruh. And all, <laughs> see, here's the thing. All the things I just gave, I didn't even make it hard. That This is shit that women do. They're back like this. Body language like this, maybe, because you're being awkward as hell. I don't know if you noticed. Every time you did something cringy, I backed away from you. Yeah. That's what girls do. And that's why I was like, why are you drifting away? <laughs> Because you were doing weird <laughs> shit, and you didn't, you didn't like, and then instead of like making building more rapport, you just like continue to be more awkward. Oh, I can do this. Food that your I don't fight. Can. So yeah, I agree. It's hard. All right. This, the, the reason why I like this experiment is it proves perfectly how girls don't understand what it takes to be attractive as a man whatsoever. Like you, whenever you, <clears throat> so I say girls can't give advice because it's like you don't ask the fish how to fish; you ask the fisherman. So anyone else want to try? You. Well, you already know it's kind of tough. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted but to I just wanted, I just wanted to, say to say something. You want to say something? Go ahead. Well, I feel like in that, like, that we acted it out, I thought it was more so comedic than an actual situation. Because obviously oh, you Oh, now it's comedic. Oh, my no. God. Bruh. Was it? I mean, I didn't think, like, you wanted it to be serious. You obviously what? aren't going to say yes to whatever we're saying. No. You're acting as an uninterested Sorry. girl since, like... As but you do as realize that up. most girls that you come up to are always going to act disinterested, right? Mm, I mean, yes. hell, even the guy that you were with, you were disinterested in him for months, correct? 
We asked you at the top of the show, would have you taken him seriously if he tried to make a move early on? We were. You said no by your own answers. He never even, he never made a move on me. We were in the same friend group and he hasn't attempted to make a move but on me. But that's my and point. He did, I asked I, you earlier in the show, I said, if he had made a move on you at the beginning of your friendship, would have you given him a chance? You said no. It's because I don't give any guy a chance until Congratulations. You're like point. every other girl. That's the point. That's the whole point. Most girls are extremely disinterested in the majority of men. It's not easy. Until you get to know them. As long as, like, if... But especially it's the about the like, in the club I mean, and how they get you to sleep with you. And yo. it's proving the point that it's hard. And it is hard. And it's not comedic. Even it's the guy that you're scene. with right now. If he had, like, come up to you, man to woman, from the beginning, you wouldn't have given him a chance. I met him in a friend group and I got to know him and I obviously gave him a chance. I would never give Are you missing a, the you're, you're I, missing I would the never, whole point here. I would never give a guy at a club a chance in the first place because I wouldn't yeah, want a guy point. that that's is at a club. Saying. I don't need people at the club. Yeah, that's the point that it's Yo, hard in Miami. What the fuck? <laughs> that girls never get Yo, guys a chance. Like you a Yo, I ain't gonna lie, right. man. Yo, Y'all dumb as fuck, man. Holy oh, shit. I think main thing they're getting at is wow. that <laughs> men face a lot more rejection than what women think they face. Like, the same women that are thinking that it's easy for guys to pick up women can't get picked up. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo. You might need to go back to that Ukraine, bro. So a, much, lot of, a lot of guys bro. would also not want to date a girl that they meet at a club. No, that's, not true. That. that's not true. They want to date take girls. Some they fuck. Oh, no, I'm sorry. no, sorry, sorry, just, sorry. I don't think <laughs> the way the club is definitely a place. I mean, I, I tried to trade her those, but even that didn't work. But which is true. Like, Poor if girl. I were to meet somebody for the first time, club like, is definitely. All right, not. ladies, let me I'm break this down like, for y'all because you guys don't no. get what we're trying to show, show here. Even if you're an attractive man, you have all your shit together, and you go up to a girl, she's gonna behave as if she's disinterested most of the time. You only have some subtle cues here and there. To see if she actually is interested. Most girls are always going to act disinterested. Most of the time. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Even if you're an attractive guy that got all your shit together. She's going to still give you some resistance. She's still going to play games. And we just displayed that just now. And y'all couldn't handle some of the same objections you give. Like I perfectly displayed how a woman would behave. If you walked up to her in Trader Joe's. And then when she was asking me weird shit. I was like what the fuck. So I acted like a typical girl would be. I pulled away when she started acting strange. I don't expect you to say that you have a boyfriend. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Like, Girls lie about that I shit, thought, though. Like, for the I gave you a typical you're objection. To be single, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, but if you're acting weird, a girl's going to say I have a boyfriend. Mm. Okay. So that you can back away. How I many agree. times have you I not agree. had a boyfriend and told the guy you had a boyfriend? I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know y'all better than you guys know yourselves, yeah. bro? <laughs> what did you want us to say in that situation? Like, what would you say if you're approaching a girl at the club? Like, okay. how did you introduce Oh, yeah, look, that's interesting. Look, the purpose of the exercise was to display that it is not easy to attract women. You guys think it is, so we put y'all feet to the fire, we acted like women, gave you guys typical objections, and you guys failed. Like, she got all nervous, didn't know what to do. Couldn't do it. You walked up and said you make six figures. What the fuck? Most girls are gonna look at you like, what the fuck? Oh, leave, if you say that. And then you were being creepy at a Trader Joe's in the middle of the day. So, I was being how you would normally do it is you have to come in on a certain, it depends on the girl, it depends on the situation. Obviously, approaching a girl at a nightclub is a lot different than approaching her at a grocery store, and you ha and you have to approach it differently but it depends on the situation can we do this role play again with like you actually being a man and one of the girls actually being the girl because like i'm really interested oh, yeah. to that see would how be you would do it i want to see how that. i would do it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean that's, 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 like <laughs> that's normal. True. i think he kind of explained it um but like let's do it in a role play again why not i mean that's I did. Normal, he's though. on the spot no it's not we like, do it every day yeah. Okay, let's it's let's normal. do it again. Like, no, no. Like you no. being the man and any of the girls being the girl. I doubt no, he's gonna get up and do it on the, his own podcast. Point, though, but no, I think he explained no, it's it. Not you about that. It, the, the point of the of the situation is to display to you guys that it is not easy to attract women as a man. Yeah. It's most girls are gonna act disinterested. Okay. Most girls aren't interested in most guys. And you know, you said, Hey, if I met a guy at the club, I wouldn't take him seriously. That's my point. He has to overcome the stigma of meeting you at a club and build attraction to be able to get you. I mean, hell, like, and I used your boyfriend as an example. If he had was straight up with you from the beginning, hey, I like you, you probably wouldn't have given him a chance. It wasn't until you got to know him a little bit more, you had the comfort of friends, you had the comfort of social circle, that you gave him a chance. That's just how I am with everyone. I, I also think that's Which that proves that my could, point yeah. that most exactly. girls are just, no, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh. her and I, I think we're referring to a lot of the people that we know. When we see guys and we go out with the guys, they always bring home girls. They always like it is no problem for them ever. We never, I never see them get rejected by anybody. But Absolutely. You, can you be honest and admit that most guys that you see don't have that same option? 
as those guys you're talking about. Like the guys you're talking about are either tall, good looking, have money, or some status has some game, and they get girls. The guy is Trader Joe's or CVS, what does he get? Coupons. Right, we're talking about the majority yeah, of majority. men yeah. that have, they just have a harder time getting, you know, a woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> it, it's not what you see often, because what you see often might not be reality of the majority of men. It may just be what you are surrounded by. But somehow there are guys that are extremely mediocre, that have no money, that don't have the the riz, that mm -hmm. still have body counts of 50 to 60. And it's true. Like, you see it. We probably, probably know guys that are like that. That's a minority of men, though. Yeah, it's just not common. I think that's the point, is that it's just not And they have common. something, at least something they have to make it work. Maybe they got a big pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you be so cute? <laughs> they have game, confidence. Confidence, yeah, character, or, humor. Yeah. Or, yeah. A very stuff dominant like that. energy. So that's something that makes them likable to that girl. Or girls. Well, he already knows her, and like he kind of said, like, built a rapport with her, so he kind of knows what to say to her to get that yes and you know it's funny you see them get girls but i guarantee you they get rejected as well but you don't see that part yeah either I've in never day to day seen life our friends get rejected that's i don't point. know how they pull but they just do but are you with them 24 7 you used we, to be, like yeah. and we then were you hold on group up together hell hut huh like we're always in the same house like no no but i guarantee wait, you i'm law who, who are these guys that you're talking about that you're prefacing all of the, the men based on well, these guys there are like friend groups we're from boca people there are pretty close and okay. we're t basing it off like guys in boca for example like we have our friend group and they do bring girls around very very often and we've never seen them get rejected i don't know how but they just don't get rejected and it goes for no but money bringing short, girls around money, and fucking girls are two different money. things you understand that most of the time they end up getting laid you know that how do you know like we're always we're just... all like we're in the same house as them you'll go in a room and somebody will be hooking up with the chick that they brought it's easy in boca like i don't know it's just a lot easier there but see, they they're have going something. off of their like two dudes or three dudes that they might know like oh we see these guys get laid so it must be easy and also to get to that point i guarantee you they failed many times either early on in life or before what are they like promoters or some shit what do they do just exist just guys in boca yeah. that are semi-popular like semi know people it's it's just like, semi -popular. Depends on so they have some yeah, social wow. status they in have town. some status there's some, yeah. exactly. something that they have they yeah. get from girls the, the, the ladies are missing that like you still have to have something as a they guy they were popular in high school that doesn't make a big difference nah. no it does not make a difference if you're popular in high school that, that, that does make a difference yeah even though i'm not from america i know that that makes, makes a difference you know if you're captain of the sports team or nerd whatever Ooh, they're out of high school, so their high school status okay, okay. You know doesn't matter. What about your other friends that are not popular? I don't know. I don't have that many friends. I'm yeah, just, yeah like, exactly. Like okay. I, we well, have. So our your small group. scope of friends that are popular. That's your sample size. It's like what fifteen dudes that are like all friends with each other, and you know. Wait. Plus. What do you like? She I knows think 15 dudes. your argument is well. They're they're basing their argument on a select group of men that carried social status in their high school. Remember, they're right out of school. Like she's twenty and she's like twenty. Like they're right out of high school. So mm -hmm. yeah. they're talking about a select few guys that had status in high school when they went to school together and they're a friend group. But what I'm saying is that yeah, that carries there in Boca because it's a small town. Whatever, throw them in the middle of Miami, put them somewhere else where they can't rely on their social status. Let's see how many girls they're gonna pull. Probably zero, little to none, is what it's gonna be. I mean, having a high school social status doesn't matter when everybody already left for college. Who who are you showing that social status to when you're not you're in college? Wait, now? you went to school with them, right? Um, well, yeah. Or you knew of. them through high school? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah. So, and the other people in town probably some might have went to school, but some others are there. And it's summertime; people are back from school. I guess during summertime, but like <laughs> I'm talking about like all year long, all year round. I think realistically, though, you just can't compare like. 15 or however many to like what 4 billion men in the world like we're, I think that's just the point we're just talking off of our personal experience and what we see with guys when we like that we know yeah, all right let me ask you a question. question we live in the United States right what if I said uh I don't see world hunger so it doesn't exist <laughs> I'm not saying that guys no, don't no, get no, laid but I'm saying but like w would that be intelligent for me to say world hunger doesn't exist because I don't see it 
No, it's not. Stupid, right? Yeah. Because it's based on my personal experience living in a first world country. So I'm, what I'm telling you is that you can't base, oh, this is just what we've experienced. You got to think outside the box. Okay. This is just a select group of guys in a very niche social status area in a small town, uh, a Boca. This might not be representative of all men. That's critical thinking skills. Okay. I don't want to, like, there's no just, winning this argument. No, it's, 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 it's not, a, it's not an argument. No argument. It's fact. It's like, you can't take this small sample size and try to extrapolate that to the majority of men out there. I'm saying majority of people that I've met that I know, they have no trouble getting girls. Yeah, personal experience. But is that representative of the entire male population? No. But, okay, you don't, like, okay, some guys just don't pull. But <laughs> a I'm majority saying, of guys don't pull, is my argument. Okay. That's like me saying all girls are easy because I fucked a, c- a couple girls. All right. Easy. You know, fuck boys, man. Simple, simple. It's, it's like, <sighs> I don't if know, man. All girls are so easy, then how come those guys don't get laid? No, that's the no, point. They're not. Yeah, they you don't, don't see not. them. Even the biggest hoes have standards. Yeah, hoes. They still, you still have to do something. Facts. To a degree. Maybe you got charm, charisma, good Tall, looks, height, money. Like, you have to have something on point as a guy to get girls. And I think that's what you guys are missing because you see the people around you and you think, oh, it's easy because these guys are doing it somehow. But it's like, I mean, hell, she didn't even know what to do. Like when we gave her the mic, like she was terrified. Like I'm over here like, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. It had no clue. But that, that proves my point that it's not easy. It really isn't. Oh, shit. Girls think it's easy. But then you put them in the hot seat. Like it looks easy. When you got to drive that car, it ain't easy. It's not easy. man. Can I ask something? No. Yeah. How did you get your confidence? I'm sorry? How did you get your confidence? Like, you get girls, right? Dick. Good no, girls? None. <laughs> really? We I wish. mean, it's, it's a lot of, uh, for men, right? I always say confidence is derived from your accomplishments. Competence Dick. creates accomplishments, which then creates confidence. Yeah. Dick. So you got to, you got to, as a guy, you got to really suffer and make it through life. And then you overcome Dick. adversity. That's how you get your confidence. Did you overcome it? Dick. The fuck, Chris? <laughs> I'm still laughing at my answer. What? What answer? I'm still laughing. Like, no. You get girls, right? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, nah, man. I mean, it, it, confidence for men is, is earned it through your accomplishments. Yeah. How long did it take you to get to the point you would say that you were confident enough? How long? Yeah. How many rejections did you take? <laughs> Hundreds, thousands. I mean, yeah. I mean, as a guy, you have to get rejected and, and figure out how to properly... True. Do things like men are made, women are born. True. You know, so men have to earn their value. So, like as a guy, you have to like just strike out, strike out, strike out, figure things out, experiment, see what girls respond favorably to, which what they don't. You know, talk will, to girls. I will say you're a real one to be honest about that, because like most guys in this situation would be like, "No, nah, I've never been rejected." Oh, that's but, a fucking lie. I will say, like, that's yeah. nice to and that's that you're not actually manly. honest the, about the, it. <laughs> the top, the top guys that are the most attractive only close like ten percent of girls that they talk to. So if I talk to ten girls and I get with one, I'm like world class. Ten percent is top tier. But if any of you went to a club right now, you guys would go nine out of ten, ten out of ten, easy. You know what I mean? So for men, it's 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 way harder. You can have all your shit together. She might find you attractive and still reject you because she didn't feel like it. Maybe she had a bad day or her whatever. Her friends might be going her friends home might, together. Her friends might just then cock block you. Want to leave. Like, there's so many different factors that come in. Yeah. But now nah, it's really tough, man. I mean, I don't expect y'all to empathize. I mean, you guys are women, so I, it yeah, is what it is. You, you guys have a different existence. Misogyny. Uh, but, you know, it, it's just I always laugh when girls say, oh, yeah, it's easy to get girls. It's like, okay. Let's... No, that's why I'm asking. Like, I empathize with you, but I just want to know. Stop yeah. the cat. I was just going to say, then what advice do you give to men then, like? I mean, lie. Get rejected. Lie. Talk to girls. Lie. Yeah. Lie. To talk to girls. Okay. Well, for one, not do what you did. Uh, like not <laughs> I mean, awkwardly I, I come know. up behind them and shit. Play. Uh, you know, display some value when you speak to girls. Speak with confidence. To speak with you know conviction. Speak in the active voice versus the passive voice. You know, get to know the girl. You got to build rapport. Make some jokes. Right. Yeah. But so, that's like such a limited time to like actually get to know. Like, like if you're in Trader Joe's and you're like getting your groceries. How can I get to know you? Like you could have made a joke. What you should have done, you should have walked up to me. Okay. And been like, "Oh, tofu, are you like a vegan or something?" And then that sparks confidence. And I would have just been like, "Haha, no." And I would just just walked away. No, no, no. It's (laughs) but it's but you see, (laughs) I'm opening up the conversation a little bit more versus like want to go on a date. It's like what the fuck. So so like me offering or any guy offering like, hey, like, do you need help? Do you think that's not a good? It depends. It depends on the situation. Like if she's 
picking fruit or whatever, she clearly knows what she's picking up. So it'd be like weird. Okay. I was just, I said that because in my head, I was like, oh, maybe she's picking up something heavy. So Bruh. I told you myself, I was looking at tofu. Okay. I, I actually missed that part. My bad. Yo, I swear God, Stupid. You just talk to talk, man. A, a, yeah, lot of it, God. a lot of it is just energy exchange. Like a woman can tell if his energy isn't dominant. And as soon as she tells that, so if, there's any bit of awkwardness or anything like that, she's going to be like, eh. Yeah. You know, she, yeah, she's going to get a little bit icked out. And so, yeah. in your example, that's what happened with yeah. him, and that's what he was displaying, basically. I think Acting so. like a normal girl would act in a grocery store. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's real important, I think. Um, I mean, kind of remember what it took for you. Like, he probably made you laugh or made you feel, like, different somehow, made you feel special, like how you said. Like, so... That's what it takes rather than just trying to get in and get close to her. Um, like, if I had got a chance to go up there, like, I always just try to do, like, a pickup line. Like, anytime I try to even just make somebody, because I used to work at a bar. If I try to just make somebody get into a better mood, I'll say, hey, I think you dropped something right there. And then they'll look. I'm like, it was your smile. And they look, oh, oh my God. Like, you got to. Exactly. You got to get people going. Work on me, though. But it got you <laughs> smiling, and now I have a better chance to get you away from that tofu section than God. somebody who's just saying you need some help. She would definitely do better as a man. Yeah. That's why I got a girl. Yeah, that's yeah, what I say. Because, she, cause like, she understands, is, is uh, like, to get a woman interested, you got to, like, you know, be charismatic and charming and all this other shit. You know, because, like, for girls, like, I mean, have you guys ever approached a guy in your life? Yeah. Honestly? No, you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No? Have you? Yeah, I have. What happened? Did you do what you did there? <laughs> Went out. What'd you say to him? What was your pickup line? I walked by him and I complimented his watch. So you said nice watch? Mm-hmm. Bro, you could have did that earlier. Rolly, 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 rolly. <laughs> Why did you do that earlier? earlier? I had a watch on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid. Yo. Okay. All right. Let's what about how many of you have approached a guy before? 